The House of Representatives has passed a bill seeking to raise the academic qualification for the seat of President of Nigeria, Governor of a State and other elective public officers to university's degree or its equivalent for second reading. The bill was sponsored by Honorable Adewumi Onanuga, representing Ikene Shagamuremo North Federal Constituency in Ogun State. Leading the debate on the bill, Onanuga stated that the proposal, if it becomes law, would, among other things, place more value on education in the country. We are now being joined by Akan Imo, a public affairs analyst. Good evening, Mr. Good Imo. Good evening. Thanks for having me. All right, so what's your position on this bill being sponsored by Onanuga? I think it's a very lovely thing, and I appreciate the, um, this deal because, firstly, it's going to, just as Ananda said, it's going to increase the value of education in the country. People are going to see that, they're going to see value in education. Mm -hmm. Because right now, value of education is very low in the country. We see our youth saying that school is calm and that school cannot give them anything cannot make them anything great in life. But when we, when they see that to get to the highest office in the country in the land, you need to have proper education. It increases the value of education. Secondly, it's important to note that Nigeria is a big country. Nigeria has businesses. We, we need to begin to run the country like a proper organization. So we need people who are passed through the four walls of the school who understand how to live not just people who dropped out of school or who have not gone through a formal education. Because. So I think that this is a very laudable deal and um, I stand in support of this deal. Okay. Are you um, satisfied with the degree certificate or would you even clamor for a higher qualification than that? I, I think that we can start with the degree certificate for now. We, we might not be able to jump, so I think we can start with the degree do you now. think do you think that this would lead to better governance in the country yes i think so i think it will lead to better governance in the country All right. i think it will lead to better governance. there are those who have described politics as a very dirty game and many of them would not have anything to do with politics especially in nigeria do you see this cleaning up the space and making it more attractive for a certain kind of people to join the fray? Yes, definitely. I ran for office in 2019. And one thing I realized was when people saw that I could come out and run for office, there was a group of people, the educated allies, the ones who naturally would not want to have anything to do with politics. They came up and they supported my campaign. So when we have people who we can respect, people who have achieved both in the business world in the educational world, come out to run for offices, it sparks up a following of another set of people entirely. Then it, it makes politics less dirty as you come, come to know it. Well, do you see this bill scaling all the hurdles? Would it become law? Ah, that's a problem in our country. So we have beautiful ideas, but there's always a lack of political will to make that happen. I fear that this might not see the, day, the light of the day, but the, the optimist in me is hoping that it actually becomes law. Why do you have this fear? Oh, we, we, we've seen bills die. We saw what happened with the electoral bill. There are many bills that, there are many beautiful bills that if passed would have changed a lot in the country. But somehow it doesn't just survive. So it's a legit fear every Nigerian has when um, electoral processes like this, um, when um, legislative processes like this are in the pipeline. All right, let me digress a little bit and, and, and take you back to uh, when you contested. What did you contest for and where? Oh, I contested for um, a seat in the Lagos State House of Assembly in um, Ikeja 2 constituency here in Lagos. And those who contested with you, what, what, can you tell us their qualifications and what you experienced in the process? Yeah, the contestation was just simple. Have an SSC, have an O-level, and then you could contest the election. But I remember that my party was specific and during our primary, especially our um, presidential primaries, they had a written examination. In fact, it made the news that year that 
um, this particular party had a written examination for their presidential candidate, and it trended. Hmm. It didn't make so much impact, but it was something that it was a philosophic. It was a philosophy we stood by, and we felt whoever is going to represent us must have the intellectual capacity to also stand for that office. All right. Well, I guess we just wait to see if it will become law. We hope so. We hope so. Well, thank you so much, Aka Imo, for your time. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. 